very well connected. Um, so we felt like it was important that we needed to connect those areas um, to create a big area for the bison. All right, so again, um, through these development strategy, strategies, um, we hope to establish a national park, expand native, native habitat of the region. Uh, we want to cement an icon for the region, uh, get a place that people want to come to um, and look at, and then we also wanted to engage the community um, and connect the community. So yeah, just to reiterate, reiterate a lot of those things, um, <clears throat> some of the issues we saw, we felt it was imperative to just look at the, the future bridge and um, the new proposed bridge that, um, and how it kind of fits into the context. Um, the whole goal here was we're really trying to connect habitat and create large extensive areas for the bison. Um, so we thought with just this subtle gesture of even just bowing it out a little bit, you're almost creating views so people aren't looking at the bridge or distracted when they're driving, um, but you're also just consolidating those on-ramps. Um, <clears throat> we think a lot of those on-ramps and off-ramps that are currently there are very, um, they take up a lot of space and they kind of segment a lot of space. Um, and then really just that whole green that you're seeing is really this connected system um, for the bison ultimately.